bed. Yeah, come into it. Get me here, Jack. David Crosby's woken up in pain, his right ear aching and his hearing muffled. He needs it treating so he can get back to work, but he's not confident of getting an appointment with his GP. You get told to phone at like half eight in the morning and no matter what, I've tried and I've tried and I still cannot get an appointment. All she really can get is like an over the phone assessment, but sometimes it's not the same as actually going in and speaking to your doctor. Good morning. So he's come to St Chad's walk-in centre, where within half an hour he's seeing a nurse practitioner. I woke up today and my ears throbbing. Okay. Um, Joe Nash leads the team of nurses who triage and treat patients at this walk-in centre, one of eight across Liverpool, Knowsley and South Sefton. It's an open access service, it's open seven days a week and we will see a little bit of everything and everything from you know minor injuries, minor illness, uh, but it's the convenience as well that you don't have to make an appointment, that you can walk in uh, and you know we will assess you and treat you where, uh, where possible. Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust is launching a social media campaign to encourage people to attend walk-in centres like this. If eye infections, minor burns and joint injuries can be treated here, it will relieve pressure on other parts of the NHS. Over 5,000 patients attend these walk-in centres every week. If they weren't here, that level of activity would flood the A&E departments and actually cause more pressure in that, in that acute environment. So they're a vital resource and a glue that holds the healthcare and the urgent care system together. Well, it's been a busy morning here. In the two hours since opening, the nurses have already seen 32 patients with everything from ear and throat infections to strep A to hand and back injuries. And the patients here can expect to wait half an hour for triage and three hours for treatment, a much shorter wait than if they'd gone to A&E. rang the doctors this morning, but I just missed the um, last appointment. So I just thought this is the only next place to come and get it checked over. It's a bit difficult trying to get a doctor's appointment at the moment, so I just thought bring them here and we're only about a mile away, so it's convenient. So I think you've got an outer ear infection. David's got a diagnosis, an infection that can be treated with ear drops. He's leaving with a prescription, hopeful of relief from the pain in his ear and thankful to have avoided a long wait for treatment. Yeah. All right, then. Come back if you need to. Thank you. Andrew Fletcher, ITV News in Kirby.